I will share to you what are the other things that you can do in order to pass the B2 exam and what are the things that I have done to pass it in just one month. Yes, there are alternative exams that you can try. And of course, I will share to you my experiences, the things that I have done, the strategies, the reviewers, and everything that you need. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your P9 teacher here in Norway. And in this video, I will share to you what are the other things that you can do in order to pass the B2 exam. And what are the things that I have done to pass it in just one month. Yes, there are alternative exams that you can try for you to pass the B2 NOSK. And that is what I'm going to share with all of you today. And this is one of my most requested blog. And of course, I will share to you my experiences, the things that I have done, the strategies, the reviewers, and everything that you need. Now, let's start. So in order for you to be qualified in a university, you must have the General Studia Competence. This is a requirement that is needed for you to be eligible in the university. And one of them is the Norwegian language exam or your knowledge about Norwegian language. And the minimum is B2 level. Now, if you will go to some or na opta or other universities, other sites of every university, they have alternatives in this BETU exam in Competence Norge. So if you want to take other exam that will be equivalent to BETU NOSK level, listen to this. Number one is Bergen test. So Bergen test is available in Folke University. So I have tried this one last 2017, but I wasn't able to finish the course because I don't like that in the middle of the course, they change our professor and I don't want to continue. And then I just try to take the exam even though I am halfway in the course. That's why I didn't pass it. So the exam is in scriptly and monthly. And if you will go to their site, I will just show you in this corner. You will choose the scriptly and monthly and you can choose the schedule. So always remember the deadline and all the requirements you must fulfill before the due date. So I have this reviewer. If you want, if you want a copy, just PM me. <laughs> Just PM me. So it is also helpful for you to be ready in the exam. Next one is the Nostrintre. So this is a type of course that you can apply in university in Oslo. So before, I have a friend, my classmate in the university. She took the Nostrintre Summer Intensive Course. Summer Intensive Course. Course. It is a course in one month. They will teach you all the necessary all the necessary things for you to take the Nostrintre exam. And then they will give you a character or a grade. And then if you passed it, it will be equivalent to Nosh Beto in Competence Norge. But then the summer intensive course is not available now because of the pandemic before uh, my friend told me that uh, she doesn't pay it because of they are there are so few in that course and uh, the university don't ask them to pay and that will be the last summer intensive course but then you can still try the nostrintre one day course or the normal course which takes six months and then you will take the exam and then you will be given a grade and then it will be equivalent to nosh beto so again nosh trintre in university in oslo i will just put the link below and then you will see all those things that you need the requirements the date on how you will apply Always remember the most important thing, the due date before applying for the exam. And the last one, the last thing, and this is the one that I have done. 
is Vegge 3 Norsk. Vegge 3 Norsk is a course in Vidregonde Skole or Senior High School here in Norway and you will study for one year. But then, because I am studying in the university, Oslo Met University, if you know my blog on how to be a teacher here in Norway, I will just put the link there. I cannot take additional course for one year. So I have a lot of things to do on my plate or my plate is full. So I just do the pre batis exam. So I will just put the link there. I will show you on what website. In every region, for example, I live here in Sur Trondelag in Trondheim. So I register there in Trondheim and then take the exam last December. So what are the things that I have done to be prepared? First is I contacted one of the Vidregonde school or senior high school in our community, in our municipality, in our place near me and asked them if that is possible to ask a pensum list or a list of all those lessons or things or uh, history or all the literature, all the things that I must know before I take the vegetre. Noshk. And then they are so kind to share it to me and they of course understand my my situation on that time. That's why they they told me that these are the books, these are the literatures, these are the lessons that I must learn. So I use one month to read all of those things and then I take the exam. And luckily I passed it. And uh, that's why I have the Begetre Noshk. So if you are wondering why I am already in the university even though I am not yet in B2 level and I take the Begetre Noshk, that is because the, the complementary course that is given to those teachers from other countries who want to continue their profession in Norway, the qualification is only B1. But they but they've said that they will change it. I'm not sure if they already changed the requirements, but you can still find some of the courses that only have B and for requirements, but still it is very few. If you really need to pass the B to Noshk, you must take the Bergenstes in Folk Universitet, Nostrintre in University in Oslo or Begetre Noshk. Pre-Baptist examen. Always remember the deadline of registration and then where will be the examination day. You must visit the place first before you take the exam for you to be familiar with the place. For example, me, I have taken the exam in uh, senior high school in Trondheim and I'm not familiar with the place. But since they have also the direction where should I go, I made it on the right time but if you are not familiar with Norwegian language then you must visit ahead of time for you to know where you should be before the exam you must be on time you must be prepared and of course before you take the exam always remember to read the criteria for giving the grades or bordering schema ponosh because it is really important for you to know on how they will grade you or how they will give the character to you on your exam. Now, what are the things that I have done for just a short period of time? Uh, I remember that that book that they have given to me, I need to read some of the history, some of the famous writers in Norway. And then in the exam, they will ask me to choose one of our famous writer and explain it in Norwegian language. And some of the example or uh, literature example that they have is written in Nynorsk. So you must really know the language. You must be prepared. I also have samples of the exam in Vegetrenosk. If you want to see some of the examples of the exam, I can send to you. Just comment down below. And if you have further questions about Norwegian language on how to be prepared in exam, just comment down below and all the important information, all the sites that you need to do, I will just put on the link below. 
So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated when I have new uploads. Bye and good luck!